Bye, guys. So I hope you had the wisdom to watch Jonathan Clegg's upload. It was a fantastic upload. I would say it's his greatest hits. Yep, his greatest hits. Now, I've told you that the Lord showed me a dream that, well, I call it his, Jonathan Clegg's Star Trek, right? The trick he took, and I was shown another way. And I've already been shown the cloud with the anvil. And now I know it's a storm. And the anvil, called the mammoth cloud or whatever, is where you get the coloured sky. So that's a heads up, right? Because the Lord showed me there was an anvil in front of the caravan. It was pushed into a shed. And I, I've got the word, there was actually on the other side, there was something in the windows. And I don't... I've, I've uploaded the dream and I haven't done a great job of it but you know time is short and I just need to you just need to go pow 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 and get what Jonathan Clegg has said because um, I don't know how many people can actually go the way I went because um, being I'm the angel to the church of Ephesus and there's something about that church it's about love it's a great love it's a great love affair and i don't know how many people actually have walked with the lord like that or, or can even understand the what i'm what i'm bringing that relationship it is different it's i mean i floated like it's like um, it's like Americans, America's greatest hero. Um, I'm walking on air. Dun 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 dun. You better know I'm walking on air. You know, it's that aspect of being in love <laughs> in the clouds. I floated in, you know. It's been a really, really special journey. It really has. And the Lord's given me a picture. And I appreciate the picture that he gave me of Jonathan Clegg as well. But I just want to tell you that I floated in there and I had the dreams. And I know and I saw it, the angel come off the chariot and take two beautiful steps pull a spear out of his back, just pierced his skin, and throw a quiver under my nose with a big scorpion tail at the end of it. And a year ago, <coughs> the Lord showed me, I started a book. I've only done chapter one. He told me to start a book, chapter one. And it was from a dream, and it was called Carjacked by an anaconda and it was beautiful and now that you know what the Ford Courier is it's Jesus right I had the door open and it's just hit me you know I had the door open on the passenger side God is in the in the driver side and I was reaching in to get something and an anaconda carjacked me and it just makes, you know, it makes me think of, well, you know what South Africa's like. And I was taken down. I was taken down. And I was being squeezed. It was wrapping around me. And then I just had this wisdom, which is, I'm, I'm at that. It's come to pass. The Lord was just showing me what happened. And I just knew I had the wisdom to tell it. To unwrap I spoke to it and it unwrapped that's the authority that as angels we're going to have so yes they are going to come out of the pit and look I haven't seen it other than the dream but there's something we we get to do this guys we get to do this we get to tell it to unwrap the serpent 
and we get to take its sting out of its tail and present it to one another. This angel presented it to me like I was some type of princess or royalty. So there are, there are angels fighting on your behalf. And, you know, on a smaller scale, you can see Cleck has been fighting a long time on behalf of the harvest. On you, you guys have been caught in the net, you know. You're the, you're the fish that, that the angel caught. And I don't know if I've caught any, but anyone. <laughs> but that's what we all are. And we have a harvest. So I'm bringing a message like that, which I heard a little bit of Cleck saying it. And I know that he will say it more. I know he will. I believe he will. He, the Lord did not give him tie yellow ribbon around the old oak tree for no reason. And now that I know that the anvil has been it's been decrypted what this anvil was it was in front of the caravan it was the storm so i'm just going to play this because this just confirms the storm the one that i saw trump blown he said calm before the storm a couple of years ago yeah well i saw him blown by a hurricane wind off his feet to the left it's come to pass listen to this one we're learning new information about the so-called steel dossier, which was the foundation document behind what's called Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation document behind what's called Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation Crossfire Hurricane. Operation Crossfire Hurricane. So I'm not going to play any more. I'm going to link this one too. So take the time. Stop watching the parade and watch something that's worth, worth your time for spiritual edification. This one's only 21 minutes. I'm going to watch it. Today I posted this flash storm. Did I not? The hail. It's all happening. And why would I get a little rubber toy that quacks like a duck? Looks like a sheep, but quacks like a duck. <laughs> it is an exciting time. And, and I liked what Cleck said when he looked at Miley Cyrus's um, teeth around her crutch sort of puts you off doesn't it it's put me off so that is why and i've said it that is why i believe that there's hundred and forty four thousand are virgins because they've already they know the truth and they've been turned up i believe that the fruit of knowing this truth is you pretty much go off it you don't want to be a part of it it's scriptural to not want to be a part of it the Lord Jesus Christ walked this earth and he was not a part of our sexual activity. And he said that there'd be no fornicator will inherit the kingdom of God. Well, do you think you're fine if you're in marriage? Well, yeah, I suppose. But really, is it not double-mindedness now that you're, you know, you're in a marriage, but it's double-mindedness, isn't it? When you know this truth. isn't it have you thought about it 